All right, everyone, I am back, and just got a little pop notification that villages have been updated, and it seems like, wait, why am I taking this stuff? I don't need these. I can return this stuff. Wooden axes, yeah, I don't need those. Um... Two of those definitely don't need leaves. So, anyways, yes, villages have been updated now. Oh, you know what? I don't have my mini map on. Let me turn that on real quick. Here we go. Villages have been updated. They uh, they now have the correct working protection. I understand. So, I guess you can't just go in and claim a building. So I guess the one way to find out would be trying to dig this. Yep, and I'm sure I'm getting a chat message about how the area is protected, but I have chat turned off, so I'm not seeing that, obviously. Now I've got a phoenix guy over here, and I forget which way, which way I came from. I think I was heading away from the arrow. I believe it's the direction we were traveling in. Whoa! giant cave. Let's avoid that for the time being. Sheep? Sheep? No, I don't need sheep. Whoa, what is this? Giant stone wall. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This may be something worth exploring. Oh, right. A little pond up here? Whoa, okay. I don't know what was just happening there. It's kind of really weird glitching. Hmm. Got some kind of a tower. With a sign that doesn't say anything. No, I don't have a copper ingot. Okay, so that's something from a village. Whoa, what is this? Giant sandworms? And a bunch of them. And a sand monster as well. Because nothing rounds out the experience of being in a desert. Like sandworms and a sand monster. So I think I shall skirt around to the edge of this. Oh, is the sun already going down? Man... I haven't found any place good to settle in yet. It always takes so long just to find a good spot. Maybe we'll just have to do something around here. I think I'm far enough away from a from any kind of a village where I won't have issues from that. Um, it's so dark. Can't see a thing. Other than evidently, I'm going up a hill right now. And now I am stuck in space. Okay, well, I could fall and die getting to this house. As seems to maybe be the case. Try to shift jump here. Alright, we're in. Now, I've had bad experiences. And by bad, I mean, like, really bad experiences of sleeping in these beds. So I will not do that. However... Oh, it doesn't really go anywhere. I can't cook in it because I don't own it. Really? Uh, just silly. Alright, well, if they're not going to let me do that, let's do some inventory management here. Give myself a large bag in that slot. And let's go ahead and get that all set up. And I'll throw all my food into the first bag. I'll do building supplies in the second bag. Guess that'll qualify as building supply. Um, should probably guess throw my my apple and the chicken in there. Uh, let's use this for a random. 
supply bag. No, did I have? I don't think I did. Wrong bag. Ooh, I do. I am going to go ahead and make myself stone sword. Because nothing says... Nice. Nothing says being prepared like having a stone sword. And you know what? I'll just drop this wooden sword in here. Gift it to somebody. And I'm going to keep these sticks. Because I think I want... To make myself a stone shovel. Which admittedly is not going to go very far for me, but... Whatevs. It'll be good for excavating when I have to just dig some... Dig some space. Oh, dude, morning is... Morning is dawning. Time to run out with stone sword in hand. Conquer the world. Ooh, snow's coming up. Dirt monster. Shift jump double high. Avoid the dirt monster. A whole village. Uh, I may crash the server if I visit that, though. There's been a few issues with the snow updating, dropping in the wheat fields, and somehow that just crashes the server. Like, straight up, it just goes down with absolutely no notice or anything. Okay, I seem to be heading towards people. I want to be away from people. I may have to trek through that village. And build on the other side. Let's see what's up over this hill here. I really just want to find a good place to settle in. It's going to be like a straight drop off. Yeah. That is not going to work for me. I need some place where I can get down. I do wonder though. Who designs a village. Inside of a giant drop off like this. I mean. Come on. Soup's going to flood down there. There's nothing to keep water from just piling up. I mean, where else is it going to go? I'm just in this massive hole in the ground. Oh, and then we have like a little lake there. Okay, then. Let's see what's round about. On the other side, oh, the water. Good, 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 good. I hope there's no, like, octopi or scary monsters in the water. Probably should have looked for that before I just jumped in. It's a good way to get myself killed. Okay. Run around the corner here. Why, thank you, tree. I will take that gift of a pine cone. With the utmost of happiness. I guess. I don't know why they're dropping pine cones on me, but that's fine. I'm wondering. A little lakeside house could be quite the rage. Close enough where I would have no issues with ever needing water. Though I don't know what I would ever need water for. Oh, I could build on this little island. Um, but that's kind of cheesy. And it's super close to shore, too. If I was going to do that, I'd just go ahead and build my own island. Out in the water someplace. What is that? Oh, This is another house. They're not going to let me build here. It's going to be too close. A little blacksmith shop or something? Alright, well, it looks like we are... Still not evading housing. I just want some place where I can build. Alright, well this is going to be a super boring series if I never settle down at some place and just start building. So, I should probably just do that. Like... Oh, it's kind of an outcropping here. Let's see what we're looking at. Nice little beach. You know what, this could be... 
Oh, crocodile. This could be a good spot, like right here. Ooh, what is that? Oh, I think just a cat. Should be fine if it's only a cat. I mean, cat ain't gonna do nothing about it. And one on the tree, I suppose. And let's begin excavation. I don't really know how big I want to go. Uh, for the night, I'll just do something smallish. I think that should be good. And I'll just throw up some walls real quick here. Lock the doorway. Take that torch back. Right there. Take both of those. Somehow I get the feeling that stuff is not placing at all where I want it to go. A torch there and a torch there to round out the lighting. Unfortunately, anything's going to jump right in here. Because this provides zero protection as far as a wall goes, because it's not high enough. It'll keep things from jumping out, which really doesn't do me any good. I want to get some more torches. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right away, because you always need more light. That's just like a given. Need light. Light is super important. All right. Well, might just hang out here for the night. <clears throat> I don't think anything's gonna come in. I could do like a whole underground home. That could be cool. Yeah. Why didn't I do that? Just put grass right over the top of it. And then nobody will ever even know if there's a house here. Um, but that kind of... I don't know, that might be fun. You don't necessarily need... to have... Hmm. If you do like a secret hidden house... Yeah, a secret underground room... that's just connected with tunnel to a house somewhere else. I can think and do like a lookout tower. Whole little fortress kind of a thing here. Definitely gonna have plenty of material if I'm mining everything underground. Super easy to avoid people because no one's gonna see it. Though of course if I do the lookout tower like I want, uh, it's gonna be like an eyesore on the map of, hey, somebody's building here. But, that should be okay. I don't think he's going to bother me. After all, I'm a famous YouTube celebrity. Who would want to incur the wrath of the famous YouTube player, video recorder, mod reviewer, whatever, to really consult the uh, IRC client on my computer here. Make sure nobody is trying to converse with me while I have chat closed, because that would just be awkward. Someone trying to get me to come and pose for a, um, a selfie with them on the server, like I said I would do on my website. Uh, just keep typing my name like, why is he not answering me? Is he lying about doing this? And that would just be horrible PR. Like, it would destroy my reputation. Which would be super sad. Not to mention they would probably unsubscribe from my YouTube channel. Assuming, of course, they were subscribed. Which I'd have to imagine they are. Because, well, why else would they be visiting and wanting me to do this? Okay, now I seem to have put myself into a little bit of a predicament here. Mainly that I have no way of getting out. 
So for the time being, I'm going to have to make a little stairway up. I just dug that. Um, okay, that makes no sense. If there is a house that I am missing over here, what in the world? How, why can't I dig any further this direction? But I can here. Okay, this makes no sense. This again is some of those village issues I'm talking about. Like, why doesn't this work right? I don't see any protection showing. Oh, you know what? I think here's a house. No, that's just tree. Uh, that's trees and sand, not a house. Well, then I really have no idea why it's not letting me do that. And I just lost my house. There we go. This is what happens when you dig holes underground. You lose your way. And get confused. No chicken, you are not invited. Nor are you welcome. However, you may make a delicious meal. So I guess if you're really adamant, ad ad adamant, if you're really adamant, I will let you. I'll let you in, and we can dine. Oh, I don't have enough dirt. Boo. Well, I'm just gonna have to do a a quick and dirty fix here then. Hey, chicken, you're still hanging around. Did you... Okay, I don't know if this is a network thing. But, hey. Oh, never mind. thought I just dropped an egg. Whoops. Oh. Well, nice of mine to decide to grow now. I'm just gonna... Close this off. So I don't want any nasty monsters getting in here. And then I'm going to light her up with a bunch more torches. Because for some reason this seems to play really dark. Um, and we'll just keep anything from getting in through there. Of course I have no idea what time it is now. Oh wait, I can see stars there. Cool beans. Alright, well, that ends it for this episode. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching my video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would you consider giving it a thumbs up? I appreciate all those I can get. I'm on social media, peoples. Follow me. Google+, Twitter, Facebook. I always post all of my videos on those platforms, or links to my videos on those platforms, as soon as they go live. Which this means prior to the release on YouTube. You can watch them before anybody else. You can also visit my website, NathanSalpat.com, and see all my videos there. Really nice website, if I do say so myself. I did design it, so I might be a little bit biased, but I still think it's, it's decent. If there is a mod you would like me to review, just click on the Request Review button right there. It takes a two form on my website. You just type in the information, hit the Submit button. I get it. I look at it. Record a review, post it online, you watch, we all profit, the world's a better place. Yeah, I don't know about that last bit, but hey, do it anyways. There's You got nothing to lose. I'll catch you next time.